Welcome guys, I'm here to give you a quick update on the latest PUBG patch, which is destined to shake up the stale PUBG M4 barrel meta, which I'm very excited about. And before we get to that, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you would choose me as your PUBG creator to support. It's free and it really helps me out. Just go to the link in the description, log in and select me and done. The first thing worth noting for this new patch is that Vikendi and Karakin are being removed from the map pool and in goes Tago and Paramo. Yet another short stay for a new map. There is a new weapon in PUBG, an airdrop 556 assault rifle, the FAMAS. This gun is quite beefy as it has an insane rate of fire of 900 rounds per minute, same as the MP5K, while having 39 base damage, just one less than the M416. It's easy to kit out as it only takes a muzzle attachment and a sight or scope. With this firepower also comes a bit of a shaky recoil. I'll do a deep dive into this weapon soon, but for now, expect a manageable recoil but with quite a bit of a screen shake. And with a new 5.56 AR going into airdrops, the AUG leaves the crates and enters the normal world spawn pool. With this, the AUG gets its damage reduced by 1 from 42 to 41, its rate of fire increased from 700 to 750 rounds per minute, its bullet velocity nerfed from 940 meters per second to 890, and its recoil slightly increased. And while this weapon also has quite of a bit of a noticeable shake, especially with a red dot, it is incredibly powerful and should outperform the M416 quite easily as the number one world spawning 556 AR. This is also due to the fact that the M416 gets nerfed by having its damage reduced by 1 from 41 to 40 and gets a bit more horizontal recoil. I did try the M416 on a test server and the nerf doesn't feel so dramatic, so you should be able to still do quite well with this weapon. But perhaps the most exciting thing about this patch is a notable buff to the M16 and Mutant by increasing the max rate of fire from 600 rounds per minute to 800. This is an increase of 33% and while testing the weapons I did not feel like it changes much for the M16 but oh boy does it change things for the mutant. Wait, I thought I saw... Mutant. This might be more interesting, actually. What? Okay, if you can hit that on somebody, that is going to kill somebody so fast. Because the mutant hits hard, actually. Yeah, that that that's where the potential is. M16 is still blah. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what the heck? The mutant does OP as heck. What the heck? I gotta try this more. The mutant comes out as the true victor of this patch as this weapon is now absolutely godlike. If you simply learn to click at the correct rate while in burst mode, this weapon has got much higher rate of fire than the barrel, a much higher damage per bullet than the barrel, and lower recoil. And although it will take practice to master this, the mutant should be the number one on your list of things to get better at in this game. Definitely going to dive into this weapon soon too in a future video, so stay tuned for that as well. Shotguns are not being nerfed, but the drop rate of shotguns and ammo is being reduced quite a bit. The patch also has some minor changes, and the most interesting change here is probably that you're now able to go beyond level 500 in the survival mastery and unlock some medals, which some people might find interesting. PUBG really lacks good progression, and while I don't think this system is actually that good, it's something and an overall step in the right direction. So with this short patch rundown, I look forward to diving into some of the new weapons in future videos. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time. Dude.
god what is this <laughs>